Good morning, everyone. Happy Super Bowl Sunday. So excited. Super Bowl day. Yes, I'm a football fan, and yes, I root for the Niners, because I'm in California, so you know you've got to root for the Niners. Let me bring up my iPad, and we'll get going on this. Turn down the volume. All right. How is everyone on this beautiful Sunday? It is gorgeous. And what a great weekend for the Super Bowl in Vegas. The weather is great here. I'm assuming it's great in Vegas. I mean, I'm in Northern California, and it's knock out of the park, beautiful outside today. So I thought, why not do a spring dough bowl? Okay, this is the centerpiece that I'll probably put on my, my dining room table, kitchen table, whatever. Um, you can use this in a variety of places. But what I want to show you in this design that's different from, like, the tray I did and some of the others, is this is going to be um, done as a 360 degree arrangement. So from every side it's going to look good. It's not going to just be one sided. So if you put this on your dining room table, people on both sides of it, it's going to look good. And I'm not going to make it super tall because when we have a, an arrangement on our table and we're eating, we don't want to have to look through the foliage to see the people across the table. So this one you could probably actually keep on your table when you're dining. Uh, some people like to remove them anyway, but I'm going to make this a little bit low. We're going to have a little bit of that wild kind of a look um, that we did yesterday in the big boot, which, didn't you guys love that boot? Wasn't that easy? Tell me if you saw it and if you thought that was an easy design to do, because I just think the wild ones are just so spectacular because anything goes. You don't have to be perfect in them. Make them look wild and crazy, and that makes them look all that much better. They look natural. So we're going to do a little bit of that type of design with this. You guys are going to love it. And for those of you looking for Easter centerpieces, or maybe maybe an Easter arrangement to take to a hostess's house, whoever's hosting Easter for you, which is wonderful when you get to go and you don't have to do the work or the cleanup, this would be a great gift. And you can make this on different levels. You guys, this is a, this is a pretty good sized bowl. But if you found small ones, in fact, let me show you a small one. I have a smaller one I'm going to make up, <clears throat> probably on another live this week. But you could do this on a smaller scale. So the sky's the limit. The design is the same, no matter what size container you're using. But I love these dough bowls. These are from Hobby Lobby. You can get them online. They're very common now, dough bowls. Love them. So let me set this down. And uh, as usual, when you guys come on, say hi, tell me where you're watching from. It's so awesome to see people all over the place, all over the U.S., etc., uh, watching the lives. So I like bringing this to you, but I like to see where you are and where you're watching from. So let me bring this up again. <clears throat> Technical difficulties. Oh, right on, Pam. You, you bought a double in North Carolina? You're going to want to do this. I, I know already. Hi, Dee. Second day in a row. Good morning. Glad you were able to come on here. Okay, i got to check my internet again. My goodness. One day I'll just be able to start and it'll be, it'll be good. So if I go away for a second, I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. And it's good. It's working. Okay. Last thing I forgot to check. I was so... I was still like, i got to get everything I need for this. Because um, I have, if you guys see the big, huge masses of green, I keep a lot of my filler flowers in here in big vases, and I just pluck them out as I'm building things. And I have buckets all over the floor back here. That way I don't have to keep going outside, going out to the garage, because I keep a lot of it in the garage, the overflow. But I want things that's readily available. So when I'm getting ready for a live, I'm like, okay, what do I need? I'm picking everything up. And I forgot to check the internet again. Okay, so this is the dough bowl. I went ahead and installed the foam so you guys didn't have to watch me struggling with my alien tape. So it's already in here, but look how strong, you guys. These dough bowls are heavy. And that's two strips. Now, the one thing I can tell you with the dough bowls, they are not level on the bottom. They have to have, they have that like hand carved look. So when I do them, my um, styrofoam actually hits more of the sides of the bowl because it's curved than it does the bottom. And the bottom is a little wavy. So to make sure it connects, 
I do not put my tape, my alien tape, the sticky stuff, on the very bottom. I put it on the bottom edge. So let me show you on a little piece of film, if that makes sense. Some of you go, yeah, I got it, I got it. But just in case, if this is my piece of foam, I'm not going to put it here. I'm going to put it on the edge here. So a little bit goes up on the, on the side and then a little bit's on the bottom. That way when I push it into a curved surface, it's going to connect on the edge of the side and the bottom. So I did that on both sides. That's how I connected the bottom piece. And then for the top piece, I just did glue because glue from a glue bin works really good on styrofoam. On styrofoam. So now that that is all in, let me show you what I'm putting in this. So this is going to be a completely neutral piece. Okay, hold on. I got something on my glasses, so it's keeping me from seeing really good. My goodness. I need glass cleaner in here. Technical difficulties again. Okay. Better. Okay. So this is going to be a completely neutral piece. Oh, and I'm going to show you this guy in the background. That's a workshop coming up that I worked on yesterday. So that's going to be posted along with the other little dough bowl that's going to be a workshop. This one, I mean, if I can find a bunch of these bigger dough bowls, we might do a, a complete centerpiece workshop. I got to go shopping. I'm actually going to Home Goods right after this to see what I can find. Okay, so completely neutral. I know you can see them sitting here, but this is what we're going for. We are not using color in this. Now, if you say, well, I like color, you guys can always plug a little color in, but I wanted this to be neutral. I'm going to use some ferns, and I may even use a little bit of these bright green just to jazz it up. But look at those colors with this bowl. It's going to be gorgeous. So, and with it, these are my bunnies. Look at the bunnies. Aren't they cute? And this is where the double-sided or 360 centerpiece comes in. Because I have two, and a lot of the bunnies you see in the stores right now, there's sets of two, or you can buy two of them that face each other, right? So I'm gonna end up putting these side by side like this, so no matter which angle you're looking at, it looks good. There's a bunny on both sides. Where if I used one bunny, I would just have to build it up behind them. This way, I can build it up on both sides, keep it lower, and it looks good from any angle. So and I'll probably, I'll probably like tilt them a little bit so that even from the sides they look cute, from the ends. Okay, so let's get started. Also, do you know how I teased those little carrots um, yesterday, the white ones? Look how cute these are gonna look in here. So I used one box of five. They're gonna go in here with it. Um, and also, so, you know, I'm like, oh, just stick a stake up the middle of it. They're all styrofoam. These little guys are not styrofoam. Let me show you it up close. <laughs> so I really played with these yesterday to figure them out. But see how cute they are? But do you see how they're kind of made with kind of like a twine? Well, when I went to stick the stick up the middle, I ended up gluing it on the back. Because these are not made of styrofoam. I found that out. I almost ruined one. So what they are... They are like a piece of, like, paper towel, some kind of a, a white paper that's rolled tightly into the shape of a carrot, and then they wind the twine. So you cannot put a stick up these. When you start putting a stick up them, they start unraveling. So if you find these at Home Goods that look like twine, just glue your little um, stem to the outside. And then when I incorporate these, I'll probably put a little moss to hide that little stem. Easy, easy. So I went ahead and glued all of these so they're ready to go because I wanted to make sure they had time to really dry before I used them. So I have five. Five on little stems ready to go. So we'll put those up there. I really, I'm really going to like this design. Let's see. Trey! Hi, Trey! You are from Clifton Park, New York. I love that opposite end of the country. How is the weather in New York today? It's kind of nice to see what's going on in other parts of uh, the country. I love that. I have always wanted to visit New York. It's on my bucket list. I've never been there. Maybe one day, now that we're a bit retired. Love it. I always wanted to see a Broadway play. I want to walk Times Square. I want to do all the things. So maybe one day we'll get there. Okay. 
So we've got those. Now let's separate these out. These are going to be an accent at the end. I don't even need this many, but they do sell these little ferns at Hobby Lobby in the bush aisle. Um, Michael's has some beautiful ones this year. Absolutely gorgeous. They're where they sell the terrarium supplies. And I believe they're 40% uh, off. Pam, I know you were just um, giving me some of the sale prices before the live. I think they're 40% off right now. Um, gosh, they're gorgeous. So we're going to accent with some of these at the end because we want that wild kind of fluffy look. Flowers go in at the end along with a little bit more of this little wax leaf that I love. Just a couple touches of it. And then of course we've got our greens. So we've got these as an accent. These were Michaels. Now these are like a plastic, you guys, I gotta be honest. But I love the lime green. And we're gonna use a couple touches of these. These are the, in the um, Michaels spring stems, which are on sale right now. Um, these were $5.99 each. Of course, when I bought them, it was buy two, get three free. So at $6, five stems for $6, these were a buck something each. So deals, 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 deals. Okay, so we're gonna set our accents aside. We're not using those yet. Michael's and Julianne's is 40% off spring floral. Hobby Lobby is 50% off containers. I love that. I'll be heading there tomorrow. And 40% off Easter and spring decor. Love, love, love it. So we are right there because Everybody's going to start uh, decorating for Easter coming up, or spring, because Valentine's is Wednesday, so on to the next season. So hopefully we're getting a jump on the, this next season by teaching these classes. Okay, so let's get these guys put in here. And I'm going to use a little more alien tape, so you do get to see me struggle a little bit with the little plastic coverings. Darn it. But... Uh, this stuff sticks so well. I love it. So I'm gonna use a couple pieces on each. We are going to, these have little pads on the bottom. So that I guess if you put them on the table, they don't scratch. So I'm gonna put it right over those because those are a higher level than the rest of it now. So I, I wanna make sure that it connects. I could have just peeled them off, but I'm not going to. So we're gonna get, let me get them both on there and we'll figure out exactly where we're putting these. Alien tape, you guys Google it, or nano tape. Same thing, nano or alien. Um, if, you, if you put it in Amazon, I haven't put a link in yet. I've been kind of super busy this week. But um, eventually it'll be in my Amazon store, which is not published yet, but it is in progress. So for now, just go to Amazon or on the web and search nano tape or alien tape. It'll come back up with everybody that sells it. Um, this for floral design is great, 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 because it sticks, it's not coming off. But when you want it to come off, it comes off. You can actually rinse these little strips off. I put them on a uh, plastic cutting mat and you can reuse them. So if um, you want to take this apart and redo it another year or any design like that, you can, you're not stuck. Because once we use like floral stick and stuff, it gets nasty, it's, you can't get that stuff off. It mars the container. This does not. So, and I keep getting on my soapbox about this, this tape, but I love it. And here I am struggling with these, <laughs> these little strips that are on it. It's so hard to get off. So, but that shows you how strong it is. So let me try my needle nose here. I have a piece of it, but I can't grab it. Come on. Ah, there's one. Of course, wearing glasses is not good. It's hard to see up close. Ah, I don't want to chip this bunny either. Okay, up two. Take these guys off. This takes longer than doing the arrangement. But I wanted to show you how I did the foam and everything before I put these on. So who are you rooting for today? You guys, comment. Who are we rooting for? I told you, I'm a 49er fan. I grew up in the Bay Area. Always been a 49er fan. And, and really, since the days of like Joe Montana, Jerry Rice, I'm an old-time 49er fan. So back in their glory days. So 
it's kind of good to see them coming around again. It's been, it's been a few. Okay, these are cute. They're the ceramic with a crackle finish, but they actually have a little cotton tail on them. I've never seen anything like that before. These, I believe, were from Home Goods. So, super cute. So, I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna put this one, and I don't want them straight. You guys, I'm gonna like flare them out from each other a little bit so they look a little more natural. So, we're gonna go like this, kind of on an angle, which will help from the side. And then we're gonna go, oops, let me pop that before I push it down because I want the big guy back and the baby front. So we're gonna go right like that. I'll have a little bit of greens coming up between them, not much. Probably an accent of this kind of ferny stuff because I don't want it real heavy. And like I said, I don't want it real tall. But we're gonna push these in really well, rock them, make sure it's connecting with that foam. So there they are. So this side looks really cute. You turn it around and this side looks really cute. This is more the front, yes, because you can see both, but you still see from the other side too. So love that. Okay, so now that we did that, we can get started. So first thing I'm gonna do, we're gonna add the greens. And I'm gonna start with these. These were Spring Hobby Lobby. They have a little bit of a dusty look. They're super, super pretty. Um, the texture is a little bit like plastic, I must say, but it doesn't look like plastic. So, I mean, of course they're plastic, right? So these were spring um, Michaels, actually. And these were $5.99 a stem. Of course, they're 40% off right now. I hope they bring that sale back because I will be over there. I'm going through these greens. But we're gonna start with these because we're gonna build out to the side first. So let me take these tags off. And then what I do, because people keep asking me, I get a lot of DMs, you guys, that you don't see. People don't comment on the, the running little dialogue here, but how do you price? What do you do? As I build and I take price tags off, I make a pile. So at the end, I can see what I actually have in it. I kind of have an idea when I grab all these, but I always grab more than I need when I'm building this because I just don't know. Have I actually built this design, this exact one? No, I've never built this before but I've built similar, so kind of know what I need, but I like to be prepared when I, when I go live. So we're gonna start with this. I see words coming up. Um, Martha, hi Martha, glad you made it. And was it a good birthday yesterday? Just saying that, you know, don't ever apologize for having to leave or whatever. Birthdays come first, that's awesome. And you from Kansas City, but you're in Dallas, so you're not voting or you're not rooting for Kansas City today. Tell me, is it because of Taylor? <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so Martha is the only one that mentioned Dallas. Dallas is a good team though, I like Dallas. Okay, so what we're gonna do with this, again, I, I talked about this on previous videos, look for stems that have lots of little stems coming off. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna cut this down. There's a piece of red fuzz on that. We're going to cut it down to use it. We're not going to make this huge. We're not going to make it come out a lot from the container. We're going to keep it, keep it close. But um, I love that these have lots of little ones on them. So what we're going to do, the two end pieces are going to be the top pieces of these branches. So there's two identical. So let me, let me uh, cut them all down. And of course we're using three kinds of greens at least on this. So I'm going to cut this down. This is going to be our main stem. We need a little bit of length to bring it out from the bowl. Let me talk about this bowl and the foam. Another reason that we tear the foam on these. If I did not tear the foam, good stick to keep, <laughs> good stuff. If I didn't tear the foam and you look at the level of this, this foam, the first piece, is pretty level with the, with the rim of this bowl. So if I want these to come out, there's nothing to stick them into. Do you guys see what I'm talking about? So now if I'm coming out, I have this top piece to go into. 
So it's kind of good to tear a little bit so that if you need something to grab your stems that are coming out the side, you have it. Otherwise, you're going to have to take your stem and you're going to have to bend it, you know, put a bend on it to get it down into that foam if it's level with the lip, if that makes sense. So that's another reason I like tearing that. So let me grab these two. These are our first ones. I'm going to come out the side. This one's a little too long. And I want to make these. Is that the two tops? Making sure I got the right pieces. Oh, I took that off. So these two, what I want to do is make sure I have them, it would be this one. I want to make sure that I have them the same size. I have that uh, piece pretty much centered in there. So this is going to help keep it balanced on each side in the same, same level. Okay, so right about there, but we're going to go shorter. I don't, I don't want this to get too big, too overpowering, especially if I use this on my table, I'm going to have some candlesticks and stuff with it, so I don't want to take up a big portion of the table. If you do, just make it a little bit longer. But these first two pieces will dictate the size of this bowl. Okay, so we're going to go right there into the side. See how it just kind of falls over the side of it? If I was trying to go into this, I wouldn't get that effect. So make sure that you, um, you tear it a little bit so you have that upper piece to work off of. So we're going to come up over here, and we're going into the bottom of that top piece of foam. Okay, let me get rid of these. Got all my little scraps. So there's our beginning, and they're pretty even. Push this in a little bit more. But there's the start. So I'm not coming out very far, a couple inches on each side. We're gonna keep it kind of tight. This is a lot of foam to cover, but like yesterday, we don't need to solidly cover it. I can take my little nose and push some moss at the very end. We're gonna keep this one light and airy, but we, won't, we need to get our basics in. So now what I'm gonna do, is I'm going to take all the rest of the little pieces and I'm going to lay them out to see how many we have so I can distribute them easy, evenly. I don't want to have to grab a third piece of this. So let's do that next. These two are the same. Do you guys do this? You like lay them out and make sure you have the identical pieces together. So that way things are a bit symmetrical and balanced. So these are the first two. So. I'm going to bring it in more, so I'm going to go ahead and cut these short. And these are pretty short, but we're going to cut them even shorter. Just so we can bring this in. You bring it in, you use less flowers too. Keep it closer to the, um, the styrofoam. Okay, so let me put little picks on these. I mean, rearrange that and get that away. So I'm going to go ahead and put stems on all of them. Or metal picks, I should say. Okay. And you can do them each piece as you go. I don't know. Everybody has their own different little method of prep. I call it just prep. There's times where I'm, when I'm building in um, quantity, like I'm making six of something or whatever, I'll lay out all of the stems and get them all ready to go, put them in batches, and then just build. So however you get organized, whatever helps. Okay, I'll stick those up there. So what we're going to do now, this will help you to stay organized, is lay these out. So I'm probably going to come one and one. We may have to go shorter. Yeah, we're going to go shorter. You guys go longer before you go shorter so that you don't end up with a problem. You can't put it back on. Well, you could, but it's a lot of work. I would rather cut it a little bit longer and then have to cut it down again. And then you'll see I do that a lot. So, Okay, so we're going to come out the side here, out the side here. So we're going diagonal. And then we'll take two more pieces. We're going to come out here. We're going to come out here like that and then we have these two little guys 
they're going to come out both sides like that. So we're going to come out here and here. Now, we're not going to fill this all in. We have some more greens to put in, but this is going to be the frame for our arrangement. So let me start here. And again, I'm going in the bottom of the top piece, right like this. I'm, I'm using, feeling it with my fingers, so hopefully I got it right there. And then again with these. Oh, I'm hitting the glue too far close, and <laughs> you're going to hit the glue. So we're just going to push these right on in, right like that. Easy, easy, you guys. This is your little frame you got going. Look at how easy that is. See? So it looks like it's all the way around. So you want it evenly distributed. So again, that was only two stems to do that whole framework. Cut your stems down. All those little branches that come off of one stem. Cut them down, line them up, and line them up by um, size. So if you're using two stems to start, they all have the same sizes coming off. So put them in piles. And then everything will be symmetrical and balanced. How's that? That, that is the best thing I can say to save money rather than using a whole stem and now you're going to use four or five of those little branches to do the same thing. So now we've taken two stems. They are completely distributed. So let's see what we're going to use next. I think we're going to use some of these. These were my little spring also. Don't those look real? And I love that this is going to look like a natural arrangement. And again, we have several, several branches. I'm going to cut the tags off so that I know what I'm spending here. Kind of afraid of what I'm spending here. No, actually this isn't a bad centerpiece at all, cost-wise. It's not going to be too bad. I do have one more of these bowls, so I'll probably try to make another one. I don't have any more of those bunnies, so I'll grab some different bunnies. I've got a pretty good stash of bunnies right now. Ooh, another good stick. Okay, so we have these. Again, we have several pieces off of them. So I'm going to cut them off, because like I said, we're going to be coming in further and further. We're not going to keep this billowing out, we're going to keep it in tight and fill in. So we've got these, let me set this up on the side. Doing the same thing, you guys. This is a, a 360 degree arrangement, so we need to keep it balanced. We, even though it's going to be the wild look, we need to have it be symmetrical when you're adding your stems. You, will, you don't want to be too heavy on one side, not on the other, and this is how you keep yourself in check with that. Okay, so these two are the same. These two are the same, and I kind of look at the top two flowers, see how it has two that buds right off the top. I know these match. Let's see, this is a shorty there. Two little shorties, those are cute, and then two of these. So let's start with this first stem. I have another one over here, but let's start with this and see where we end up. Okay, so I'm going to shift these and bring my bowl back. We'll start with the two long ones. And I'm just looking. Okay, I'm going to come in here. And this is where I, these, these are pretty thin stems, so I tend to use my needle nose with them because I don't want to, I don't want to cut my finger. So this is going right on top of the other one, but I'm bringing it up a layer in the foam. So now you got to think of dimension, you guys. So when I'm doing this, see, I didn't use that, I bent my stem. i got to use my needle nose. Oh, let's get that in there before I distort it too much. There we go. Come on, come on. Okay, I gotta pull it back out. Use your needle nose. See how I put, made it crooked? <laughs> so when they're really light stems like this, use your needle nose and grab the metal pick or right above it. Otherwise you'll distort the stem, which I just did. There we go, it goes in really smooth when you do that. Okay, so now we're bringing the level up. So I'm going up toward the top of this piece of foam and bringing it up. So we're not going to go up high in the air, but we do want it to look fluffy around the perimeter. And this is how we're going to do that. So now we have four more pieces, six more pieces. So these are all similar in size. 
So what I'm going to do is cut the two longer ones off so that we can do four corners again. Make these about the same size. And then these. Make sure they're the same again. I'm going to cut them down a little bit. Because we want that balance. Okay. So now I'm going to come out here. Notice, you guys, I am not coming right over this one. Now we're going to start filling in a little bit. Okay? So I'm going in between this piece and this piece. So I've got a piece in the middle, piece to the side, in between the two bottom pieces. I'm going to do the same thing over here. This is filling in. So we're going to come up over here, and I'm going toward the top of that top piece of foam. So it should look like this. Okay? So we've got three pieces on this side. And then we'll, in the end, we'll end up bending these up and down a little bit and make them look more natural than just straight shoots. And then let's do this again on this side. Use my hands there. It didn't, luckily it didn't, uh, I kept it pretty tight. Now if you use your hands and you're using a stemming machine, just beware, you could really cut yourself. Those suckers are really sharp. Now I have two more. Do I want to come in the front or do I want to come up here? I want to come up on the top, okay? I don't want everything down below. I have other greens to add that I can fill in. And even if I have some holes, we're going to add moss. Like I said, I don't want this really, really tight and dense with flowers. So I think it'd be cute to have a few of these pieces up on top. So let's go ahead and do that. We want it, again, to look wild and like they're sitting in a little meadow. So I'm going to put a piece up here. Let's use our needle nose. This is what makes it look natural. And we'll do one over here. So we have two of these coming up. Right like that. Okay. So now I'm looking at this and I'm like, do I want to get into another stem? And I think, yeah, we're going to use one more stem so that we can broadcast them in here. We may not use all of it. We may plug in a little bit at the end, but I do want a little bit more. Because we don't have a lot of greens left to use. The flowers will, will um, bring up some of the slack too. You know, they'll, they'll give us some coverage of that foam, but let's do a little bit more greens. Okay. So we're going to cut these apart again. We're cutting them down. This was a great stem. I mean, each one of these had two of these, and each of these has four. This is a wonderful stem. This one was a little more pricey. What was it? Uh, $7.99. 40% off now, but I bought them two, get three free. But when I bought them, I went, ah, oh, those are a little bit high. But when I looked at how much I can break them down, I'm like, okay, that's worth it. But they also have a really nice look. There's a lot of veins in the leaves, and they just look, they look real. Let me go come up closer so you guys can see that. That doll, but look at these. You guys, look at these leaves. Aren't those cool? So, these are Michael's spring collection. I just love them. My friends that know me and go shopping with me, it's like I'll go into the craft store and I'm like, oh my gosh, look at I get so excited about stems. It's crazy. I'm a little bit addicted, I'm just saying. But when I see something that looks so real, I do get excited, so. Okay, I see people are commenting. Pam, oh, hi, Rita. Thanks for joining me today. Pam 49er, of course, grew up watching Joe Montana with my mom. Yes, let's win this, Let, let's hope. Julie, hi, Julie, I miss you so much. Julie is an old friend of mine and a, a coworker. Julie, we have got to get together. How many years has it been since we've seen each other? I miss you so much. I think about you all the time. And I love seeing the pics of your grandkids on Facebook. Oh my gosh. Um, Kathy. Hi, Kathy. And Frenchie. Thanks for joining me, you guys. This is awesome. I love this. Okay. Back to work. Julie, message me your phone number so we can catch up. We need to get together, seriously. Okay. So I'm going to cut these down a little bit. 
Julie knows me from my dispatching days. We worked together uh, for CHP, actually. And I think even back then, Julie, didn't I bring in my, some of my little crafts in and I'd sell them in our break room, you know? But it did help us take some little family trips and stuff, so it was great. So, okay, I'm cutting these all down so we can use them again. Because uh, I'm cheap. Okay, I'm not cheap. I'm budget conscious. It's like if we can get more bang for our buck out of a stem like this, it's the thing to do. Okay, so now I'm going to make them evened up. And I'm going to bring these in even more. So these are going to be short little guys. We need them to be a little short. So here we go. Okay. Let me throw some hooks on these. Now this is where your stemming machine comes in handy. These are a little bit flimsy to push in. You could add glue and you could push them in. It would work. But you're going to get so much more um, hold on them if you use one of these. And re really, when you're doing a dining room centerpiece, there people are going to move this. Oh, we're going to eat. We need to put stuff on the table. Move it. Move it. Every time you move it, these flowers are going to shift a little bit. It just happens when you pick it up. So I like to use metal picks so that you don't end up losing your design and loosening your stems in the foam. Because every time they move, it loosens them up a little bit. So, another reason. And I could put some glue on these too, but the pick is sufficient. So. All right, almost there. This one seems, let's see, no, it's right. Okay, I talk to myself a lot today. Anybody else? When you're crafting. Talk, talk, talk. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to find my two longest ones. They're all pretty similar. These two are probably the longest. And I'm going to bring them out here on either side of the centerpiece. So let me do this side. And these, I'm going to come up. So when we do that, we're filling in, but not necessarily all the way to the bottom. I can throw a little bit of moss in there. So I'm going to come off the top brick of foam in between or on either side of that middle, the middle piece. So let me show you, right like this. So the, here are those two pieces right here, here and here on either side of this one. But notice this one is low, these are high. By varying the levels, you're filling in while using less greenery. So let's do it on this side now. There we go, and then we have a few more pieces. So let me look from the side. I'm gonna come, actually, do I have four? Yes. So I'm gonna come up onto the corner right here. We have this bunny here, but we'll just go right under him. And I'm gonna come right off the corner. So we're gonna bring it up a little bit. Find out where that foam is. So we'll come right under his little cotton tail. And we'll add a little bit of height on each corner here. And then our greens are just about done. But see how it looks like he's kind of sitting in a little meadow, both of them? So that's what we're going for. And we're almost there. Okay, so I have these bright green ones, and I'm wondering if we really need them. I don't think we're going to need them. I like the color, so we might save these for later. Um, I have some little pieces. I was working with and decided I didn't want to use one another. I like the color though. What do you guys think? Do I use the bright lime or do I leave it natural greens? Comment you guys, tell me what to do. I'm going to let you decide on this one because I can't decide. Bright greens in there or leave them out? What do you think? You guys have to tell me what to do. I'm not going to continue building until you do. Help me out you guys. Um, Kathy, I have the bunny design arrangement I got from you. Oh, that's right, Kathy. I remember that. Natural greens. So I have one vote to keep it natural. Leave the bright green out. What do you guys think? Pam. Pam says I add the bright. Julie says add the bright. So I have two for bright, one for leave it natural. Um, Frenchie says she thinks a couple would be good. It does kind of brighten it a little bit, I'm just saying. Okay, who else has not... Martha, are you still on? What do you say? 
Martha, Rita. Uh, I need to hear from Trav. Trav, Annie. I figured it's Annie and Travis, right? Annie or Travis, or what do you think? So a couple more votes. D says Bright. Thank you, D. So Alicia, Bright. So I think now, I'm waiting for Martha, if Martha's still on. But I think the Brights have it. So okay, you guys, let's add some Bright. I love that. Anybody else get stuck when they're doing a design and it's like, do I add that or not? I don't know. Is it going to be too bright? So I'm going to break these down. Some of them are too long. I like this length right here, but this is another good one for that. It has a lot of stems coming off. So I had picked this for a design yesterday. I was actually going to put it in here, but I decided I liked it like that. I thought I was getting too much going on. Sometimes you can overdo it. So I like that uh, you start one way and you just put it aside and go, nope, not today. Not going to be good. So I'm going to add these together. So I'm just cutting them down smaller because I don't want them to come out very far. I just want the touch of the green. So we're going to we're going to put these together. Uh oh. It came right out. There's no way I can thread these back in. They're really really flimsy. So let's do this again. There we go. So we take two little ones and make one that's a little bit thicker. I love that. So we've got two. And then one of them has no little seed thing. The other one has a little seed thing on top. So I want to put these two together, which is what I've done with the others. So now I'll probably get into that other pick. Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, I need a few more. So let's get a few more going here. Let's pull off of this one. And I may not even use it all. We'll see. We're going to add a few pieces in. We're not going to, we're not going to overwhelm it with the green. So we'll see. See what I need. Three, four, five, six. It's funny when I'm doing, um, reason why not odd numbers you guys like five five is good three or five but when I'm doing this I really can't do that because we just have to make sure it's symmetrical so um, we'll see what we end up with okay so what I'm gonna do is first I think I'm gonna go in the middle here isn't that a good look so let's go in the middle we're gonna go on top of the foam the top surface and have these cascade down on both sides. So top of the foam, and these are floppy anyway, so they lay really nicely when you do that. And then we have three more, probably need four, but let's just go right in the middle again. I'm gonna make sure these are bending over a little bit. We want them to kind of curve down, and we're gonna put them right in the middle here and right over here. And I'm gonna start on top, and then I'm gonna bend it down. Just a little bit like that. But I think it's a really good look. I do like the green. You guys, great choice. What do you think? With a little bit of that lime in there, it just pops it, doesn't it? it really brightens it up. So maybe we need some, what do you think? Another vote. Do we need to go some toward the bottom or just leave it on top? Here's one on the bottom. Again, you guys, tell me what to do. Do I put two layers, a layer on top and a layer toward the bottom, or do we just leave as is? What do you think? I like that you guys are having a hand in what I do. Okay. So everybody, I like how a lot said add the bright, and I like it both ways. Oh, it's nice for me to look at the, um, what's going on and what you're seeing in the arrangement. I need to move a little this way, don't I? I tend to start gravitating toward my iPad, so if I get out of frame like that, I say, Kathy, scoot over. You can only see part of the arrangement now. So then we'll move these out of the way. Right like that. Let's see. Julie likes it as it is. 
layers are looking good. So shall we just leave it and not go overboard? Because remember, we have quite a few like little flowers and stuff to add. I'm leaning toward leave it, but I just want to make sure. Lisa Bryan. Hi, Lisa. Thanks for watching today. Lisa says maybe layer looks better. Maybe a few more because it is only on top. I don't know. What if let's do this. I'm going to cut this and let's just lay them in without installing them and see what we like better. Okay. I have just a few here. So what do we have? So we need four. One, two. I would be short one, but I can grab another one. One, two. I'm going to grab another stem. Here's my stash over here. I don't know if you can even see that. I'm pulling it out of that big vase. But I need two more that have the flowers on them. We may not use them, which is fine. Then I can just put them back in my stash. But I want to see it with four pieces down below. Three, four. Okay. Here we go. So I would be laying one in here, right around in here. Then let me put a stem on these. Right around in here. And I'm just laying them in so we can take a look at it. This poor machine is, it's tired. I think I may have to buy a new one. I think 30, 40 years, it's like, I'm done. Retire me already, get a new one. Okay, and four would be out here. So I'm laying them in. Okay, that's what them added. I haven't secured them. Do you like it with more bright? Okay, there's more bright. Take a good look at that. And now let's take those out and take another look. There's with only the bright on top. What do you guys think? Tell me what to do. Lisa says she's love it. You're loving the fluffy and brightness. I like that. I do. It's a little more airy. It's still a little more dense than yesterday's, but for a table arrangement, I love it. It's kind of airy. Do I add four more of these? Yes or no? Say yes, add more, or no, don't add more. D, what do you think? Yay or nay? Pam says both ways look great. D says yes. Frenchie says yes. Nancy says no. Kathy says yes. Lisa says yes. Rita, are you still here? What do you think, more? Rita says yes. So I think we're going with the yes. Julie, what do you think, Julie? More? More of the green? So we'll look. I think the yeses are going to have it, Nancy. I'm sorry, Nancy. So we'll add just a little bit more of this. I like it. So if you haven't voted, but vote, tell me. It's, it's kind of nice to see what, what people are trending with and what they like. Um, I know a lot of designers just do their own thing. This is what I'm making, but you know, it makes a difference. Even when I had my designs in trends, I would kind of put things in and I would see what would sell. Some would sell, some would not. I'm like, okay, I got to stay away from that and do more of this, etc. So it's good to get the opinions of others. So I'm just putting a few of these out for the bottom of the perimeter. So there it is. That was how quickly to add four more. But I think I do like that it distributes that green all the way through it. Otherwise, you kind of see a little X of these on top. So this breaks it up. And you notice how you don't notice that as much now? So hopefully everybody likes that. Oh, Kathy says yes. Frenchie says never stupid. Julia's stumped. It's okay, Julie. We let everyone else because I was stumped too. <laughs> I'm like, what do you guys think? So thank you guys for participating. So I think we're done with greens. I had also brought some silver dollar eucalyptus, but we don't need it. Too busy. You know, we have three kinds of greens in there now, and that's really all we need in this. You can go overboard, you guys, where it just is too much. 
So you got to know when to stop. That is one of my biggest challenges, when to stop, because I'm like, ooh, I could use this and that and the other. But you'll see, as I do my designs, a lot of times I start and then I back off. I'm like, I don't really need that. Like the big blooms, um, when we were doing the boot, I'm like, ah, oh, those are too big. Okay, so next we're going to add these guys. These, again, my favorite Cosmos from Hobby Lobby. These are going to bring the white out. Look at that. It brings the white out in the bunnies, and they're light and airy. We may not even use all of this stuff I have left, because it's getting pretty heavy, but I do want to put a few carrots in. Look how cute the carrots are going to be. So let's break this down. Uh, I need to take my tags so I know what I spent. <clears throat> it's funny, I went back into Hobby. So these I bought probably, when I buy these, I'll, I'll buy everything they have out, and I'll order some from the person in the floral department. These were $7.99. I think they're more now. Prices, not only has their discount gone down, the prices have gone up, but they're still, they're still good value. And I like they're readily available. And I don't have to pay shipping. Could I order them on sale? Yeah. But then sometimes you add shipping and stuff, it's, you know, some of the quality is better, but I think these look great. So I'd rather not pay shipping and wait. And sometimes I'd order and things were on back order and I'm like, oh man. So this is a good way to... To know you go over, you have it, and you can move on. So I'm making these the same size, and that's pretty good. We're going to use probably two stems of these. We don't want to overdo it. We don't want this to be getting too crowded, but I am going to use two. So let's break these down. Again, a stem with multiple branches coming off. That means I can, I can take one stem and turn it into two. And I don't need the length. I mean, these are great if you're doing a tall base, but if you're not, look at that. I just made two stems out of one. Look at that when you're buying your flowers, you guys. Okay, so now I gotta make these the same length. So we're cutting off some of the bottom. And I like that these have these little, um, they're kind of leaves, but you know how Cosmos, they have, I don't know what you call them, they're, I guess it's probably the leaves, but they look scraggly, but they look real. Look at that. So I have four of these now. Let's see how those do. Putting those in. And I'm going to make these a little shorter. A little shorter still. Let's see. How do I know how short I cut them? It's just years of doing this, but I know that I don't want these sticking severely out. I don't want them way out. So I just kind of judge where they're going to sit. These two, I'm going to put up here with the bunnies. Look how cute. So I don't want them towering. Like I said, I'm going to keep this lower so that if uh, you choose to leave it on the table when you're dining, you're not trying to look over it to see the person across the table. So we're going to start with this. We're going to go right over here. And I put them on at a little angle, just like they grow in nature. I want them to look like they're draping a little bit. Okay, this one has quite a few of those little buds. So let me, let me bring this down a little bit. I need two, and that looks about identical. Okay, so we're going to do the same on this side. love these little flowers and make sure when you're putting them in you're putting them at the same angle so they're they're um, kind of draping the same right like that so there's our first two and see how it looks good from both sides you guys look at that simple okay we have a few more so I think I want some coming out a little bit we're gonna cut them down more and I love these little buds that come on this. So let's, let's make one of these up. So we're just gonna cut this down and compact it. Because these are gonna come out the side. And we can spread these out a bit. So they look a little more wild. So remember to fluff your blooms again. So I'm gonna come out to the side here. And it doesn't mean that we've got to be one, two, three, four. This has to come out straight. 
This one I put at a little bit of an angle, but then this one I'll put at an angle on the other side. So break it up a little bit. Let's see, put these together. That's a lot of stem. And that one didn't make it in. Let's do this again. Sometimes it gets too thick with a lot of this at the bottom. You gotta cut it out so cut it off so that you can get it into the stemming machine. So I'm gonna do that right like that. Now I think I can make it work. Did that work? That worked. And then we're just gonna bend them out so they look a little more natural. Okay, so this one came at an angle that way. So this will go the opposite way. And I'm, oh, that one fell out, so I'll put its own stem on. I came right under the bunny on this one. So do you see how it's kind of across the front of the bunnies? So I don't end up needing two. So now I'm kind of going away from, I'm gonna actually move this one up too. Um, I'm going away from the four kind of design and now I'm going at angles so it doesn't look too symmetrical in this wildflower type design. So let's bend these up a little bit and get that looking natural. So on this side, the same thing. Your greens will even shift too, so make sure that you just bend things where, where you want them to land in the end, because things will shift, which is fine. Okay, this one is not doing what I want it to do, so let me try this again. Let me get this green in here. Sometimes we got to go a couple times to get it right. There we go. So I want the little bloom up, I'll show you when I turn it around, and the big bloom down. Right like that. So I think we have two more, and I think I'll do two more out here, but around the center of this, I think we're good. I don't think we really need any more. I think it's looking pretty good. But you see how we're still keeping it kind of wild, and you can still see some foam, but that's where at the very end we'll plug in some of that um, moss. So I have two more of these, and they're the same size, which is good. So I'm just going to have them come out the sides here. Let me, I'm going to keep them long. I may need to cut them down, but let's try keeping them long and see where they land. So and lift, lift up a couple layers of your green so you can get them out there. One there. And these, I'm gonna have them face out instead of up. There we go. So that kind of finishes off the side too. So we have all sides with some of the white blooms. So I think that's plenty. We don't want it to get too thick. So let's see what we need next. So we need no more of these. See, I brought a bunch of them in, but we didn't need them. Um, oh, shall we put carrots in now? Love the carrots. Let me get all my little carrots going. Okay, and I did these very in heights, but I thought it would just look cute to have a little bit of this since it is Easter. But what's great is after Easter, because these are on, you know, little stems, you could pull them out and this could continue through spring. So, but, and even bunnies are good for spring, you know, it's fine. But I think when you put carrots in, it screams Easter. So what I want to do is kind of get several that are the same size. We have one long one, but I don't want to go that tall. So we're going to cut that guy down. These are two shorties. So my shorties are going to go right by the, um, the bunny. And then don't worry about the black stem. I could have found a green one, but I'm like, ah, oh, this is fine. So now I can bend it a little bit. I'm gonna bend it. I'm gonna, oh, the wire cutters, Kathy, come on. I'm gonna bend the stem. 
but I'm holding it firm so I don't pop it off of that. But So this way I can get a little bit of an angle. And then use your needle nose so you don't pop it off that stem. And we're going to push that right on in. We're going to go all the way down, and then we're going to bend him up. And I popped it. See, I bent it. <laughs> I didn't use my needle nose toward the end there. Okay, let's do that again. We're going to... Where's my shorty? We're going to add a stem. Don't bend it unless you're using your needle nose to hold it because you're going to pop that glue right off. Technical difficulties. These are thin, thin little, little metal stems I put on these, so it's not wanting to grab that um, pick too well. Okay, let's do this again. <laughs> Let me do what I said I should do. So to bend this, I'm going to bend it just slightly, putting a lot of pressure on that when I bend so I don't pop the stem off. And then use a needle nose, grab the metal pick. Don't grab up by the, the carrot, and we're just going to push it on in. So I'm not putting any pressure on the stem on the carrot. And then it goes right in. So look how cute these little bite, these little carrots are, and they match perfectly. So let's put a couple more in. Okay. And I've got to bend it again. Because I kind of had to curve it toward the carrot to get them to glue, but now I've got to bend it away from the carrot to put it in the arrangement. So let's put one over here. straight down. So we have this little carrot patch going on. So cute. Hold and bend. So I'm going to put one coming out here. And you can put them wherever you want. I'm just kind of scattering them around in the arrangement. And I have one that popped off, so I'll have to re-glue that. And I really like when I use them, or when I'm gluing them, I let them sit for a while. Because they're, they're a little fragile, so. Let's get this guy in. Hold. Hold, don't bend, don't pop. Okay. Let's push that on in. And you know what? This is way too long. So we're going to put another pick on that. And push it on in. So there we go. So there's a couple. I have one more to put in. But what do you think with the little carrots? Aren't they adorable, you guys? Home goods. Run to home goods and get some of those carrots. But they sell the carrots. I mean, you could put orange carrots in this. I just like that we're keeping this monochromatic. Love, love, love the natural colors. Um, yes, uh, the um, Home Goods, amazing for their little novelty items to put in arrangements. I love it. I mean, yes, I could go to market and find a gazillion, but then I have to order a gazillion, right? So, which is fine. I mean, if I start up the boxes, the kits again, yeah, that'll be something I'll have to do because it's hard to find huge quantities at um, Home Goods. So we'll end up doing that eventually. So, but for now, this is great for doing what I'm doing. So, okay, I do want to add a little touch of this fern because you guys, it's so pretty. So these ferns, this is what I love about these ferns, and this is really going to just add some really nice feathery look to this. Even though it is getting a little thick, but I want to add them. So these break down. So even when you're looking at items like this, pull them apart, they do break down. Some of them will have very, very tiny, tiny wire stems though. So for those, stemming machine is going to be your best friend. You can try the wood picks, but it, it's going to be a little hard on you. So I've got to get these pulled apart a little bit. But see when I pull them apart, I kind of force it apart. There's all of these little brown stems, if you can see that. Let me walk it around. 
because I don't want you to see these and go, how can I break that down and use it? Look at See all the little stems in there? Each one of those is a piece of fern. So we're going to break it down because we don't want solid. We just want little pieces of this throughout. So this is what I'm going to do. Don't be shocked. These are all wrapped together with floral tape. So I'm going to grab it and just pull it apart. This exposes all the little pieces. This is how I get little pieces of fern in my designs. And it goes a lot farther, so you just keep pulling it. So now see, look at the little pieces, you guys. So this is what I want to do. Because I need quite a few to distribute these throughout this arrangement, so just pull them apart. And then this is the main one. So I can just pull that down. It'll come off the main stem. So check that out. Look at all the pieces I have to use now. I may not use one piece. I may put a couple together because some of the little ones are really tiny. But look at that. Two little pieces. So now what I can do, because these are super thin, even to get a, a metal pick on is going to be hard. What I'll do, here's a little tip, a little trick. Take the bottom of these first, twist them together, okay? Do it with my hands. We're going to twist these. Then we're going to take one of them is white, more wiry than the others. I'm going to bend it up on itself. Right like that. I'll take my needle nose to crimp it. Right like that. And now I can add a metal pick. Because it's thick enough. Before, it would pull right back out. So then I can just do this. And now I can incorporate that into my arrangement. That's my biggest tip for today. My biggest trick. So one little piece, one little piece of fur, or one little um, bunch of fur can do a whole arrangement. Don't think you got to buy five of these because you don't. We want little touches of them. So um, even when I do my reason stuff, this is what I do. So again, I'm going to twist this around here to make sure they're all together. Take my needle nose, bend it up, and crimp it. Right like that, and then that's it. So if you don't have the machine, uh, once you wind them together and then crimp it, you could probably add a metal, um, you could add a metal, or not a metal, a wood pick to this. It won't be as easy as this, but you can do it. So there, got a couple pieces there. This has three on there. So let me pull these apart a little bit. So like that. So I need another one with three for the one side. So there's two. These are pretty big though. Where's another little piece? Here's a little piece. Three. So I may use two bunches of this. How many do I have? One, two, three, four. I might have enough. Let's see where I go with it. Crimp it. Have you guys used this fur before? This is one of my favorite favorite spring items. Oh my gosh, I love this fern. It looks so real. Okay, so we're going to twist these together, fold it. It's hard on the hands though. You'll have a few scrapes and scratches. Hopefully not too many puncture wounds. And crimp that down. So we, oh, that didn't crimp good enough. Got ahead of myself. You gotta really make sure it's around those, pushing them together like that. So I've got one, two, three, four. So let's see how just four look, because it would be great if we could just use four. So because we're using four, I don't want to come off the end, because then we're gonna go straight out the sides. Let's go at an angle like I did with the other green. So we're gonna go, but I might go slightly off. So see on this corner how there's a little space right here. Can you guys see that? Hopefully I'm looking in the camera. So there's a little hole. This is going to be perfect. Watch what this does for it. So we're going to go into the top block because we don't want it to spill out too far. So kind of going in the top. Look at how that little touch of green. It has the movement. It's light and airy, but it plugs the hole. So now I'm going to come over onto this corner. Do the same. And then we'll do the other corner. So those, those two corners, and look at that. 
Isn't that nice? Just a little touch of green. Green fern makes it look so natural. So let me do all four. And we'll see where we lie. So there's just the four corners. But you know, I think we need a little more, you guys. I think we could use a little more in the front. What do you guys think? Tell me. A little more, leave it as is. You guys are going to make all my decisions today. D, you have never been to Home Goods? Oh my gosh, girl, you need to go. I'm trying to think, here in Benicia, I don't know if they have one in Vallejo. We'll just Google them. But I know they have them in like Fairfield and Vacaville for sure. Pam says more. Okay, who else? Kathy says more. Julie likes it. Julie, more? More fern? Let's see. Um, Frenchie, what do you think? More? More fern? Yes or no? Lisa says more. Good deal, Lisa. Thanks for uh, chiming in. Dee says a little bit more. Maybe. Fren Frenchie says more. Rita says more. Yay, everyone's on board more. And I agree. I totally agree with you guys. Because we have it here, but there's nothing to pull it into the middle. So let's break down another stem of that. Right here we have one. First I'm going to cut off the end because we don't need this. And then let's pull this guy apart. Yeah, one day I was working with this and I went, I know I can break this down smaller. And so I thought, okay, I'm just going to go for it and rip it. And I was a little afraid because these aren't the cheapest, uh, cheapest thing out there. But um, it worked out well because now it's like, oh, I can get little touches of it without buying five bunches of this stuff. Keep your costs down. So let's twist that and fold it. This is probably the hardest part is combining all these little guys. So thanks for bearing with me on it. But this is how you save money. This is how you make your, your budget for these arrangements go further. If you can break things down and distribute it throughout the arrangement without buying more bushes or picks, you know. Got to do it. Everybody's on a budget these days, so. Let's get these guys going. There's that original one. Okay, so one. Let's see, two, three, four, five. So we'll see, we've got five now. How I, I think I know how I'm gonna use five. I think I might put one of these up between the two bunnies a little bit, kind of short, but I think it would look good. So let's use this for that one. These are kind of very light, and I'm gonna make it pretty short. These I didn't twist because I actually got some of the fern, but see how nice and little that piece is? So let me just pick them all. See, I'm like, I just want to go for it. I just want to stick them in there. So one, two. Got to do this one. Get ahead of myself here. Okay. Perfect. So I'll have four and one in the top. So I think I'm going to go, let me turn it so you see the little bunny more. What do you think about going right between them? And then they'll fall over like this. I think that's a good look. So let's try that. Definitely use your needle nose. There is not much space between these little guys. So I'm going to use my pliers to get that pushed in. And then we'll just bring them apart like this. So they. They peek out, they're there, but isn't that a cute look between the bunnies? And then we have four more, so we can do two, two on the sides, two and two here. Oh, like you're on a plane, the exits are there, there, okay, we're going to go two and two. Yeah, I'm, I'm being silly, as usual. You can't be too serious in this life, you guys, just saying. Okay, so I'm going to just add these to each side, and I think it's a super good look. Good call. Good call, you guys. You guys are designers, and you don't even know it. You know what's going on. You know how to do this. 
Yes. Yes. Good call. Look at that. Look how that little bit of fur just adds all the interest. And I like how it's right there between the two bunnies. Without making this too tall, right? Because normally an arrangement this size would be up in this area. But we just, we've kept it low. And we've kept it not too long also. This would look cute with some little candlesticks around it on your Easter table. I love it. Okay, so we don't need any more of this. I think we're good. The question is, do we keep it like this? Or do we, I think these are too heavy. Don't you guys? Too heavy? Yes or no? Do I put some of these guys in it? Or are they too bulky? What do you think? Everybody say yes or no on the lime green balls. I'm just going to call them balls, okay? They look kind of like thistle. I wish that Hobby Lobby actually put the type of flower they're mimicking. Yes, Pam says bulky. I'm kind of with you on that, Pam. Yeah. Alicia likes them. Lisa says no. I do love them too. I wish they would kind of work. Dee says no. Kathy thinks they're kind of big. Uh, Frenchie, what do you think? Rita, what do you think? Julie says the balls are too heavy. My balls are too big, you guys. Sorry, that was bad. Uh, Frenchie says no, and Rita says she's not sure. Okay, I'm going to say no, because the majority said no. And I do agree. If we put these in, I think they're going to take away from the balloons and the carrots. I think we're going to get too busy, too much going on. So let's put those aside. Next are these little, little berry buds. Do you think these would add a little nice touch, a different texture? Yes or no? We can have these in. What do you guys think? So now we're on to these little, I guess they're, they're supposed to be little berries. What do you think? Yes or no? So, and when I'm uh, and say yes or no on the, okay, Kathy says, Rita says yes for the berries. Kathy said, LOL, that's because my balls were too big. <laughs> um, berries are cute. Adds another texture. Frenchie says yes. Dee says yes. Who else is left? Lisa, what do you think, Lisa? Yes or no? Alicia, what do you think? Yes or no? So we need a couple more people to vote. So Rita says yes. Alicia says yes. Lisa says yes. Did I miss anyone? Kathy, did you vote? Kathy says yes. I think we're all in agreement. I think these would look really cute because they are not a flower, so and they're not as bulky. You know, what's funny is is they're a little bit bigger in diameter than those, but it's a different texture. It's not overpowering. It's natural. So let's cut these down and use a little bit of these. I think you guys are dead on there. So let me put this price tag over here. I like that. I think it's going to add just a touch of what we need. So we'll start with just a few. We don't want to broadcast this throughout. It's kind of like when I put them in the booch yesterday. You want them to be an accent. You don't want them to be like a main piece of greenery. It's like this is where you make it look a little more natural. So I want to put one. I'm going to put one right behind the bunny here. I'm going to get it started and use my pick to push it in. And this is going to help cover my foam uh, right next to the bunny. But look how cute that looks next to the carrot. Can you guys see that pretty good? So I like it. Good idea, you guys. So let's put another one on this side. Again, we're cutting it pretty short. I want this to hug the foam. And I'm going to pull these flowers, you can't see what I'm doing, but I'm pulling the flowers out a little bit so I can really get this in there. This is going to cover quite a big area. I like it. Good call. Good call, you guys. But we're going to put some a little further down. I don't want just two on top. So let's put a couple. I'm going to put it down here by this carrot. So it looks like we got a few clumps. And this is what's going to give it some character. Look at that. Good call. Can you see them in there? And it covers the foam nicely. But it gives you one more little natural element. Okay, so I'm going to get into another, another pick of those. 
because I need to do the same thing on both sides. These were a good deal. These were um, these were actually Michaels in their spring section. Each pick was four ninety. Was it four ninety? Yeah, four ninety nine. So five bucks, forty percent off right now. So if you ever are looking for these berries, this is a smoking deal. Pam, if you go to Michael's and you, you don't want them, pick me up all they have of these. Because I'm going through these like crazy. I love them. I need to just get online and order. So I may have to do that. But I do like them. They're really nice. So I'm going to broadcast a few more of these. Oh, yeah. And I like them in little groups like this. that and then I'm going to put one a little further down and I'll turn it around and show you guys I like that they're at different heights and different depths so on this side I had a big hole right there so can you see how it plugged it look at that and it's kind of recessed so you see different things growing at different levels makes it look natural See, so that's all of that one. So this side has two. I'm going to put a third. Like I said, I do like the odd numbers, so let's let's do that. I'm going to put a third one down here. I'll do one up there. I'm going to move that over. Let's put it over here. And when you put these in, put them at different levels and different depths so that it looks natural. I just popped off some of those berries. But that's okay. Hold on. I'm going to move my stems out of the way so I can get this in here deep. Okay. So this one's a little more hidden. But I think it looks good. So on this side, I have, have one really, really deep right here. Okay. So you kind of have to move them out of the way, the stems, to really see them good. But that's what we want. We want them just barely peeking out. That's what's going to add interest to your arrangement. Okay, I'm going to keep these leaves for another project. This is the last thing. I don't love putting in this wax flower. What do you guys think? Wax flower. Little touches of it. Very delicate. We don't really have any delicate flowers in this. Yay or am I going over the top, you guys? Is it too much? Use it or don't. Say yes, wax flower or no. What do you guys think? You get to decide. I'm not going to decide. Do I go forward with this or not? Julie says yes. Kathy says yes. Kathy, was that for the wax flower? Because I looked over and I don't know if that was an old comment. Alicia says yes. Alicia, am I saying your name right? Is it Alicia? Alicia Elder Adair. D. D likes the delicate flowers. Martha says no, so Martha does think I'm going over the top. D says yes. Lisa says yes. Kathy says yes. Pam said try it and see, might add whimsy. Fran Frenchie says yes. Kath or Julie likes it because it's petite. I do too. So let's do this. Since Martha said maybe it's a little much. And I'm kind of on the fence, even though I love it. This is like my favorite. This is my last stem of this. I haven't been able to find it. But let's try it. So we're going to just add a little bit. But I'm going to cut first. Let me show you a stem like this. We're going to first cut the main stems off. Okay. Then I have this one little stem. You can always put one little piece somewhere. But we can cut these down more. Even though I can't slide them up and down, look at how I can take this and cut it right where this bottom flower um, shoots off and make this into two. So now I have two little ones. And we'll do the same thing with this. Cut it right there. It's almost like you're pruning a tree. I lost a little bloom, so I gotta stick that guy back on. Sometimes they pop off. So there's two little, and I can do it to this one. So one stem, look at all that I'm getting out of this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Six little accent flowers. But let's go ahead and just stick them in and make sure we like it before we commit. But um, 
I don't know. I can't tell. I want to put one up here by the bunny. Let's see, is that the angle I want? I think right there. This is this is the, the creative part of this. I'm gonna barely just push them into the um, foam so that you can see where they're gonna be. Let's see, how many do I have left? Okay, there's kind of three on that side. This one little guy, cut that stem off there. It's tight. I think this guy could just go right here. So here is with the wax flower. What do you guys think? Hopefully it shows up on camera enough. So I got a couple little pieces on this side. And then a couple on this side. So what do you think? Install it permanently? Or, Kathy, get it out of there. You need to go take a break. <laughs> what do you think? Julie says it totally works. Martha, okay, I was wrong, it looks great. D, yes, Rita likes the wax flowers. So this is a good point, and everybody keep voting. Frenchie, good call, looks great. Uh, looks good. Kathy, yes, leave it. So when you're designing and you're not sure, and like I said, I've never actually done this exact design before, but what I do is I go through all my greens back here and my flowers and I get more than what I need. And like I said, I don't always use it. You know, I put these aside yesterday too. I will find a place for these, but what you do, cut it down because you know, if you don't use it, you can use it in another design. And I have some little designs coming up. I know I've been on the big grand side of things this week, but just place it in and make your decision. Do not glue it, do not pick it and push it in all the way. That way, if not, you can just pull it out, put it in your little bag. I have a little bag or a little box of little tiny things that if I need filler, I can use them. So that way you're not committing. But you can see, do I really like it or not? In this case, I like it, we're gonna use it. So good call, you guys, thank you. Because, you know, I get working in here so much, I'm like, do, do I add that? Am I going over the top? You know, it's nice to have other people to bounce design questions off of. So, help me make my decision, you guys. And you did, you did wonderful. Okay, so let's go ahead and throw these in. And you know what, I'm not seeing much foam at all now. So even though this isn't a real dense, you know, it's a little denser, I think, than yesterday, I don't see a lot of the foam. I may go through later and take my needle nose and work on it, but I think they're pretty good, honestly. So let me just throw a few pieces of these in here. But I like that it's um, just a touch, and these are not placed in symmetrical at all, whatsoever, which also makes them look like a nice natural little touch. So let me grab them all, make sure I got them all picked, and I did. I think we did it. I think that we are done, you guys. I don't think there's anything else. I have one more carrot that I'll add later before I take a picture of this. I want to bring this, this fern kind of move, so I may need to fluff a little bit. But I think we're good. I think we did good. What's your opinion? What do you think of the arrangement? You helped me build and you helped me make the decisions. I love that. So, as you can see, lots of little details going on. Yet, at the same time, it's pretty simple, right? And this is the thing with a 360 degree, that's what I call them. I don't know in the floral world what they actually call them. 360 degree arrangement. It looks good from all sides. So you can use this on a dining room table. People can dine on your dining room table. It's low enough, you don't have to move it. And it looks good from all directions. So as I turn it, you can see that both sides have the bunnies where if you use one bunny, you're kind of going to be stuck one side or keep it pretty low so you just have one bunny. But when you're bringing something this big to the table, try using two. It's a good look. 
The other thing you could do is I could have separated these bunnies just a little bit and put one of those little candle holder spikes in and we could have done like a white taper candle, one of the LED, LED battery operated ones, that would have been beautiful. So think about adding candles to it, make it your own. And if you do, please post a picture, I wanna see it. I love getting ideas from my followers. So there you go, you guys. Okay, now the other thing I wanted to, um, Rita, I'm so glad you're enjoying the videos. It's so good to be back on here, you guys, I love this. This is my jam. Frenchie says, another winner. Julie, I'm so glad you like seeing it from start to finish. It's funny when um, I have friends or neighbors or whoever come over when I'm working, and when you start it, it's like, ew, what are you doing? I mean, it just looks hideous when you start, but when you see it all come together, you see the different layers, it's easy, and it comes together and looks good. So, but floral design is kind of a funny, a funny craft um, because it doesn't look good till the very end, right? But it's kind of like a painting. You layer and layer and layer till you're done. So I'm glad you enjoyed it. And I miss you, Julie. Okay. Kathy, yes, absolutely. And Kathy, all of everybody watching, I do have an Easter giveaway that's coming up. I have to create it. I'll probably create it on a live and then we'll do a promotion and see who's gonna win it. And I'm gonna ship it to you. So we're gonna set this aside. The next thing I have to post for today, let me grab it, is this guy. This is a workshop coming up here at my house. Isn't this guy cute? Look at him. So I created this yesterday. Um, it's done all with really good quality silks. There's a, there is a, um, a bow in there. I did get to use the large blooms, so I'm glad. But I think I have um, four or five seats only for this is all I have because the, the base bunny um, I only have like a total of six with this one. So this I'll be posting. Um, and then you guys saw the dough bowl, the little, not this dough bowl, because this is a big one. This would be a very expensive class, but the littler dough bowl, that's another one coming up. So, and I have a few more to work on today. So anyway, this is coming up and this is big, as you can see. Let me, let me measure here. Um, get it on that in. This is about 20... No, from tip to tip, it's probably about 33, 34. It's almost three feet total with the branches. So this fills up a front door really nicely. But you don't even have to just use it on a front door. This could be in your house in a grouping of pictures. Um, and have you ever put these on mirrors, guys? So if you have a big mirror in your house, I have mirrors over my mantle all the time. Put a little suction cup hook on your mirror and hang this on a mirror, so cute. So this is coming up. If anyone wants to join that, drop me a note. Um, I'm figuring out pricing and all that on both of these. I'll be posting these later today. I know I said that yesterday. I'm sorry. I'm working as fast as I can. I didn't get them out yesterday. So today, definitely, while we're watching Super Bowl. So we'll hang that back up here for now and get it on that hook. So that's our bunny. Let's see. Dates, please, and thank you. Yes, those are coming up probably. I'm not sure because, I mean, I keep working and I'm like, God, i gotta, I got to post dates. I'm looking at, um, you guys didn't see that carrot. I'm looking at maybe doing doing one of the workshops next weekend. Um, and Pat, we'll look at your schedule too because I know you want to come up, so I'm open. So, but if not next weekend, the following weekend out of that, after that, because I want to have a few more in February before March hits because Easter is March 31st. I'm trying to push out the bunnies and the carrots. So um, we'll see. <sighs> yes, I, I am an ever ready bunny. One of those little energizer bunnies. Um, but yeah, I've got a lot to share. So I'm like, I gotta, I gotta get some of this product back here made and pushed out. So, and one of the ways we're gonna do that is with the workshop. So I'm excited about those. So the next one I'm gonna be working on are those, these cloche. Cloche. Tell me, did I say that right? The cloche. So I have two sizes of these. I'm going to build these today. And then we'll schedule these. These are awesome. This is also going to be a smaller class. I think I have five of the large and four of the small. So we're going to build these with little bunnies in them. The bunnies are so cute. So these are going to be tiny little dome arrangements. And then, of course, the tray 
the um, bunny tray, the pedestal tray that I did, that's going to become a workshop. A little bit different bunnies. Those bunnies are going to be these, these guys, with the little um, succulent crowns on. Either a succulent crown or a succulent necklace. So these are going to be on the trays. I think I do have enough of these. It'll probably be like up to eight people on this class. So I got to go Monday. I found my little trays, but there's only four of them. So I've got to go with a whole new tray. So I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby. I guess they're on sale this week, which is good. So I'm going to see if I can pick up enough trays to do this workshop. So we're looking at um, starting either next week or the following week. And then we're going to be going all the way into March with these workshops every weekend. And then also drop me a note. I, I kind of gravitate toward weekends because that's when people are off work. But is anyone interested in some evening classes? Because I can teach in the evenings too. So, or even a weekday, weekday meet, uh, a weekday morning or evening or midday. So if you guys have preferences, um, I'm available. I'm usually always in here working. So we can arrange it. And I usually post that on my class um, announcements or workshop announcements, we're trying to call them workshops. Um, if you have a group of ladies and you want a private workshop, we can arrange that too. You need at least five people. And we did that a lot with the Valentine No little candy tins. We did several of those. We did it with the heart wreath um, this last month. So I do branch off. If I have enough of them, I can do my normal workshop. It doesn't cancel out the normal workshop, but I can do an additional private one. So just hit me up if you guys have a group. Bunko groups were huge this year. We did Bunko groups and then we did some um, work, work like team building ones with businesses. So those are always fun too. So that is always possible. So I know I wish you would live closer to D. You may just have to buzz on up here to running one weekend. It's fun. So, okay, so that's it for today. It is now Super Bowl time, so I'm going to go bake some stuff for this thing we got going. It's already 12. Wow, I've been talking for a long time. So, um, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. Remember, please like it. Please comment. You guys were great with the comments today. In fact, I'm going to post later um, Meta, which is the business side of this, or, you know, Facebook is Meta now. They, they gave me a message, and they said, you had over a 1,000 um, engagements in the last 30 days. Thanks, you guys. That's what helps me. It gets Meta going, yeah, we need to share her with more people. Because I was down in the two to 400 range with who they would put it out to. Even though I have almost 10,000 followers, it was staying well under 500. Now they're pushing it out more. So the more comments, the more likes, and the more shares, that's what gets me out there and I can bring you more. So anyway, we're going to keep going with this. And tomorrow is Monday. Let's meet again Monday, tomorrow morning, 1030. Um, what I have, oh, I think I left it out there, but let me show you a couple of things coming up. Who likes enamel? Does anyone like enamel? And I know I need to make some wreaths. We're going we're gonna to have some wreaths coming out, but I'm trying to get a lot of my bunnies that can't go in wreaths. Like this guy's way too heavy. But look at the enamel buckets. I've got two of these, so I'm going to do a line with these. These are so much fun. So we'll do an arrangement in this tomorrow morning. And then um, I do have some wreaths coming out, so I'm going to go look in my stash and all the bins we brought home from my, my little warehouse, and I'll line them up. But tomorrow, 10.30, be there. We'll make something else. I've got more ideas. They just keep coming. I don't know. So thanks, everyone. Thanks, Pam, Dee, Martha, Frenchie, Rita, Kathy, Julie. Uh, who else did I miss? Alicia, Lisa, you guys are wonderful. Thank you for all the participation and engagement today. And meet me here tomorrow at 1030. Let's do it again. And you can help me make some decisions. Because I'm like, I have so much flowers around me. I'm like, do I need this? Do I not? So that was awesome having your input. So make it a great day. Go Niners. If you guys are Niners fans, if you're not, sorry. I'm, I'm rooting for Niners. So hopefully they win. And um, we'll see you tomorrow. Okay? Thanks for jumping on here and watching me on this Super Bowl Sunday. Bye, guys.